Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, before we get started, let me just show you the aftermath of yesterday's vlog. If you guys didn't see the vlog yesterday, I did a sneaker collection vlog where I talked about the remaining sneakers that I have uh, in my collection because I pretty much sold like 50% of it already uh, in the last few months. So this is how messy uh, the studio is right now. Sneakers everywhere, on the floor, a shopping cart, on the table. So just really wild. However, today is not a sneaker vlog. It's actually going to be a tech vlog. I'm going to review the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earphones. So to those who don't know, uh, Razer is a gaming peripherals brand. They do keyboards, they do mouse, mice, uh, they do uh, headphones and a bunch of other peripherals and accessories that gamers use. They even do like uh, gamer backpacks and stuff like that. So this is their True Wireless Headphones which is called the Razer Hammerhead. Now design-wise, it kind of looks a lot like the Apple AirPods. Uh, I mean in terms of the form factor. So it's something that just hangs, you know, inside your ear canal. It doesn't necessarily go all the way inside uh, like what other true wireless buds are designed to do. So that gives your ear a little bit more breathing space. It makes it a little bit more comfortable, but it does compromise a little bit on the sound quality and the isolation. And we'll test all of that in today's video. We'll kick things off with the quick unboxing. So as you guys can see, it comes in the black green razor motif you have the razor logo here at the top it says bluetooth over here along the side it says razor hammerhead true wireless now i was able to pick this up from data blitz a little less than five thousand pesos or a hundred dollars if you want to buy one uh, when the stores reopen and the lockdown is over you can go ahead and buy one so the first thing that you see when you open is the manual uh, over here then you get the customary a card. So all Razer products actually come with a card uh, that's signed by the co-founder, CEO, and creative director of Razer, which is Min Liang Tan. He actually came here to the Philippines several years ago, and we actually have a video of that. So we went around the store, the Razer store in Manila, when it opened, and he actually came here to the Philippines. So I'll link to that video somewhere here. Uh, it's a video that we did with Unbox. Now, apart from the manual, you get to the actual earphones. So it comes in this really nice looking black carry. Well, who am I kidding? It's your generic black carry case. The only difference is, it is that it has a razor written on it. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty much, you know, made out of hard plastic. If you pop it open, you have the actual earbuds. So here do, here's what they look like, the Hammerhead earbuds. Uh, you have the razor logo in green at the outer face of each bud. Uh, and this is the charging case. It also comes with a USB to USB-C charger cable. So it is labeled Razer. So if you want a Razer cable, now's your chance to get one. So the big question is how does it sound? How does it stack against other true wireless headphones with this form factor in this price range? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go for a quick run. Uh, listen to some tracks while doing the run over at our home gym and I'll get back to you guys after that after you know listening to a couple of tracks different genres different different sound styles and then we'll give our final verdict on the Razer Hammerhead in-ear headphones okay guys so we just finished doing like a quick run as well as a workout with the Razer Hammerhead true wireless earphones and apart from that I did spend a couple of hours listening to a few podcasts movies and even some more music with it now with that all of that with all of that experience i can share with you my review so i'll go through the pros and the cons now the pros the sound quality is decent leaning towards more the bass more than anything it's not super bassy it just has good bass however if you compare it to other more affordable earphones the quality is very similar to what you would get with air dots or what you would get with uh, the QNY or QCY or the Sabat earphones which sell for less than 3,000 pesos, 2,000 pesos or 1,000 pesos. So I feel like quality wise in terms of sound, you shouldn't buy this if that's your number one consideration. In fact, what you're actually paying for is that nice Razer logo here at the top and that nice Razer logo along the outer faces of the Hammerhead through wireless earphones. It's built really to entice Razer fans. If you are somebody who's into audio uh, and you want audio quality more than anything else, 
there are much better options than this. A few more cons, uh, the lock-in is weird. It was kind of difficult to be able to get that fit that I wanted so that the sound quality would be decent. Uh, the thing I did to be able to do that is to move it a little bit forward so it doesn't hang straight downwards like this. It would hang a little too moving forward for me to get that lock in so that I would get decent sound quality. If you don't get a good fit, the sound is annoyingly bad. It, it feels like uh, earphones that you can get for less than 500 pesos. So you need to exert some effort in trying to get that right fit. Also, the controls are horrible. And I mean horrible because there are no like specific buttons. So it's all based on touch. So if you don't know what the controls are, it's not something that's intuitive. And also when you're trying to adjust the earphones, there's a tendency for your fingers to touch the outer face, which activates either pausing or the assistant and a bunch of other stuff. Apparently there's even a mode here for gaming, which lowers the latency between the device and the audio. I wasn't able to test that, but ultimately it's supposed to help you game better with the sound. Also after working out, I found out that it was just IPX4, which means that it's not the best water resistant, sweat resistant type of earphones. Uh, the one that you should look for are always IPX5. So if you are looking for earphones that are primarily for the gym, this isn't it. And lastly, Major issue is the battery life. So I tried listening to like a movie, the workout plus a couple of tracks and I clocked it in and apparently based on the numbers that I have, uh, the battery from a full charge went to zero after a little over three and a half or three, 20, three hours and 20 minutes, three hours and 30 minutes. That's not the best. I mean, you, you should be able to get maybe a little bit better than that. And apparently the case also only gives you additional 12 hours. So you get anywhere from 15, 16, 17 hours of battery life. But if you check out other true wireless earphones that I already are that I that are either selling for the same price or lower, they can give you 18 to 24 hours. So in summary, should you buy the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless earphones? Yes, if you are a die-hard fan of Razer. And that's the only reason why you should buy this. Because if you are not a fan of Razer, don't get this one. Buy the cheaper versions or the cheaper alternatives. Sabat is a great brand. Uh, you can also check out uh, Xiaomi. I mean, there's just a plethora of great options that are more affordable than this. And if you want to spend like 5,000 pesos or like $100, you can actually get better sound from the Huawei FreeBuds Lite. Or you might even want to consider the Samsung Galaxy Buds if you want uh, earbuds versus, you know, like earphones that hang out from your ear. So ultimately, this is for Razer fans. Uh, and if you're not one, skip, pass, say goodbye. And with that said, that's actually our vlog for today. And uh, before we end, kamusta na kayo? So how are you guys? I think this is day four of the Luzon-wide lockdown. So I'm still here at home. Uh, my wife and I haven't gotten out uh, for four days. We're just staying here as much as possible. We're doing home workouts here in the home gym. Uh, that will be a vlog that will come really soon. Watch out for that. Uh, and yeah, we've been just spending a lot of time together. Uh, how about you guys? Let me know in the comment section how you're dealing with the home lockdown slash quarantine here in the Philippines. So to those who don't know, Metro Manila, Luzon here in the Philippines is under strict lockdown. We're not supposed to go out of the house. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm always praying for the Philippines. I'm always praying for all of you. Always praying for the leaders uh, that we have. And that will be the power up actually word of wisdom for the day. I want you guys to spend a couple of minutes today to pray for our leaders. Regardless if you are a fan of our leadership or if you are not, I think there's nothing wrong with always praying for them so that they make the right decisions because ultimately what they do impacts us. So let's just spend a couple of minutes today praying for the president, the cabinets, uh, the entire cabinets, all the secretaries working on it. Pray for our health workers, pray for the frontliners, pray for everybody who's sick with COVID-19 slash the coronavirus. And of course, pray for your families and your, for your family. Families, you say, marami kang pamilya. <laughs> your family and your loved ones. Uh, there's never a, a bad time to pray. So let, let's, let's do that as we are going through the home quarantine slash home lockdown. Uh, and with that said, I hope you guys are all good. As usual, from me to all of you, peace, God bless. What's up? Boom. 
want to talk about this. I'm going to unbox it and we're going to do a quick review because this is actually my second unit. This is the Dyson Pure Cool Me.